Hi, thank you for your purchase of our toilet. Um, let me show you some things real quick on how to go about setting it up for your first use. Now you're going to get it and these are going to be, these wires are going to be tucked in the back. This here is your charge cable. This is going to connect to your battery charger. And again, remember, look on the, on the charger itself. There are warnings. Please only run this for about an hour a month and make sure to completely disconnect your battery charger from here just to make sure that your battery is topped off and safe. Here we have your power cable. Your power cable plugs directly into the power jack back here. Now if you have an AC or a DC version, you will plug it directly into the power jack in the back bypassing this. Okay. As we come around to the front, we have our trim top, our cartridge. and our container. Our container should twist with just a little bit of resistance. That means that it is sitting squarely on top of the key down below. You can see the key down below and on the bottom of the container, the mating part. So those two in. We're going to drop onto there. There's a little bit of resistance. That's great. Ready to go. Now, if you are finished with a cartridge, you would just lift this up, grab onto the liner bag, pull it up over the top, and take out the trash. You would go off and do the reverse of that for a new cartridge. Take your container. Use the liner. The rubber band just kind of holds things down in place. Put the container into Leveo. There we go, dropped onto its key there. Now we'll take the cartridge. We're going to place the, the octagon panel down there in first. Now we're going to go off and place the cartridge itself with the cutouts facing into the hinges. Okay. We'll put our trim top on there. And now we're going to do something that's just a really great idea just to get this all pulled down in there nice and tight. We're going to go off with our left hand and hold on to the flush button. With our right hand, we're going to hold on to the battery cable. We're going to give it a flush. Pulls it down nice and tight. That fan runs for two seconds and then it comes up to a pause. When it comes up to that pause, we can unplug the power cable and it stops the cycle. When you plug it back in, it's ready to go from the top again. So again, that's just a quick press. One, two, pause, and remove the cable. And you can see inside, that helps us form a nice tight bowl. And we're ready to go.